First reading, a reading from the book of Exodus, chapter 12, verses 1 to 8 and 11 to 14. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall mark for you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year for you. Tell the whole congregation of Israel that on the tenth of this month, they are to take a lamb for each family, a lamb for each household. If a household is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join its closest neighbor in obtaining one. The lamb shall be divided in proportion to the number of people who eat of it. Your lamb shall be without blemish, a year old male. You may take it from the sheep or from the goats. You shall keep it until the fourteenth day of this month. Then the whole assembled congregation of Israel shall slaughter it at twilight. They shall take some of the blood and put it on the two doorposts and the lintel of the houses in which they eat it. They shall eat the lamb that same night. They shall eat it roasted over the fire with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. This is how you shall eat it, your loins girded, your sandals on your feet, and your staff in your hand, and you shall eat it hurriedly. It is the Passover of the Lord. For I will pass through the land of Egypt that night, and I will strike down every firstborn in the land of Egypt, both human beings and animals. On all the gods of Egypt I will execute judgments. I am the Lord. The blood shall be a sign for you on the houses where you live. When I see the blood, I will pass over you, and no plague shall destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. This day shall be a day of remembrance for you. You shall celebrate it as a festival to the Lord. Throughout your generations, you shall observe it as a perpetual ordinance. The Word of the Lord. Second reading. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Corinthians. Chapter 11, verses 23 to 26. For I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also. After supper, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. The Word of the Lord My friends in Christ, from today onwards we begin the Triduum, Holy Thursday, Good Friday and Holy Saturday. The three important events in the Holy Catholic Church and in the life of Jesus our Saviour. So we will get into this season, this celebrations and become one with the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. Now, before the festival of the Passover, 
Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The devil had already put it into the heart of Judas, son of Simon's carrier, to betray him. And during supper, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands and that he had come from God and was going to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe and tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, you do not know now what I am doing, but later you will understand. Peter said to him, you will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, unless I wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, one who has bathed does not need to wash, except for the feet, but is entirely clean. And you are clean, though not all of you, for he knew who was to betray him. For this reason he said, not all of you are clean. After he had washed their feet, had put on his robe, and had returned to the table, he said to them, Do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for that is what I am. So if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set you an example that you also should do as I have done to you. The Saving Gospel of the Lord. My brothers and sisters in Christ, today we commemorate the Lord's Last Supper on this Holy Thursday, an important day in our liturgical calendar and for all Christians, my brothers and sisters. A man was complaining to a missionary about mission in Africa. And he was telling this missionary, see, you have injustices, you have kind of persecution, and you condemn people in your country, and you do all these things. But having all these things, now you are trying to preach the good news to the people, the love of God. Then this missionary gave him a classic answer. He said, brother, we don't go in and preach to them about love. What we do is we go in and love them. We go in and love them. My dear brothers and sisters, this is what our Lord did. He did not preach about love to his people, but rather he was with the people and he went in and loved them so much. This is what we see in today's incident too, as we saw in today's gospel passage, where Jesus, before having the Last Supper, was doing a a very important act, namely washing the feet of the disciples. Usually, when some people are invited to have a meal with them, there will be a slave to wash the feet of those people who are coming into the house just before the meal. That was customary. Now Jesus went so down to wash the feet of the disciples. What a humility, my brothers and sisters. Being the Son of God, being the Savior of the world, being the greatest prophet, now Jesus is washing the feet of his disciples. 
And Jesus did so, my brothers and sisters. He went round. Even he would have watched the person who was to betray the Lord. His feet. Jesus would have done that. And when our Lord came to Simon, as we saw in today's gospel passage, Simon refused. He never wanted the Lord to wash his feet. But Lord was talking about purity. He was pure. And Jesus washed the feet of all the disciples and showed the example. And also gave them the message that I am doing this now. But remember, one day you will have to repeat this. You will have to wash the feet of other people. You need to become humble before God and one another. That is very important. If you want to become successful, you do that. The message is very clear for all of us, my dear brothers and sisters. We may be holding positions. We may have status in the society. We may be doing good. But that if don't, we don't have humility, all these things will not have any effect. Today, the priests are washing the feet of the people of their parishes, institutions, friends, showing that they, are, they need to become humble. And also, remember, today is the feast of all the priests. So whenever you meet a priest, you wish them because it is the day that the Eucharist is instituted and holy orders is given. And at the same time, it is the day that the sacrificial priesthood is also instituted in the Catholic Church. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, let us wish them and wish them that, God, that they will be able to continue the work of the Lord. Amen. Sweet.